first it, half. It, it would have been really, really frustrating not, not to win the game today because, like I say, the amount of very good chances that we created. We had to deal with a little bit of pressure and a spell once um, once we scored and we went 1-1 and we didn't take them opportunities that were coming thick and fast. Uh, they had a spell of about 10 minutes with sort of crosses, balls into the box and obviously the crowd getting behind and we had to deal with that. But when we come through that again, I thought we, we passed the ball really well. We did it with a purpose, counted really well. Um, it was just a really, really good performance and um, I'm not surprised by it. I don't think you would be after seeing us over the last five or six games. It's what we've been doing on a regular basis and just got to keep on the front foot and keep doing it. A few players to, to pick out. First off, your goal scorer of the first goal, John Marcus. You must be delighted with what he produced today on the pitch. Absolutely. I mean, listen, John obviously has got good quality. You know, at the end of the day, he's, he's proven it at this level for, for many years. But, you know, he, he's a good personality, um, brings lots of experience to us. He's excellent in the, in the dressing room with the young players and on the pitch with the young players. Um, but he's, yeah, you know, he's work rate as well, you know, um, second to none. So he is a focal point for us. Um, the goals he scores are the type of goals he scores today. They're the type of correct chances we create time and time again in that six yard box. And, you know, hopefully he'll score many more. And Max Melbourne, what a story. A month ago, couldn't get into a League Two team. Mm. He gets put in today through necessity mm. and comes up with a winner. You've got a big smile on your face. And, and, you, and you said pretty much, didn't you? He's a player who doesn't let you down. No, he doesn't. And, and listen, I, I said to him at the end of the game, not bad match, is it? Can't get a game at Stevenage and score the winner at Plymouth for Lincoln. So, uh, yeah, he quite he enjoyed that moment. And listen, he had, a, he had a bit of a tough spell for the period in the first half, but he come through it and... And, and, and got stronger as the game went on and um, yeah, delighted that, you know, someone like Max who, um, yeah, he, when he's coming, he's done okay for us and he hasn't particularly let us down. Um, he knows the situation for him to show the sort of professionalism he did and the honesty that he did today was, was great. And Sam Long, the league debut for him and again, I guess, did everything you asked of him? He did and just looked really assured. You wouldn't think it was his league debut. Um, Yes, he's had like four or five games in cup competitions, as we know, but um, so I've got, I, I know where Sam's going to be and he'll be our goalkeeper, whether it's next season or the season, season after, he's going to be a, he's going to be a top goalkeeper and um, he's, he's really, really excellent um, attributes with his feet. Clearly, he can use his hands and he's good shot stop and stuff like that, but you know, he's, he's outstanding with his feet and if he excels at that and improves on all the other stuff and he can get his timing um, to where, where he wants it, then he's got a good chance. Uh, and just to clear up pretty much Josh Griffith's situation, he, he's currently receiving treatment for an arm, the shoulder the problem he's got, and you're hopeful that West Brom won't be keeping him. You're hoping he'll be a Lincoln City player till the end of the season. No, you know, he will be a Lincoln City player till the end of the season. It was just we wanted a little bit of clarification whether you know there was any kind of treatment that was needed for his arm. Um, but, you know, the consultant the, the doctor at um, West Brom is um, yeah give us that uh, clearance or so uh, so to speak that um, they're happy with, with him playing he hasn't got much pain in, in that area it was just every now and again you know there was something there that he was aware of uh, but we're led to believe that it's probably an old injury you know so it's not necessarily something that's happened this year or recently um, and I think over time it can be managed whether that's with conservative treatment, whether that's with it, an operation, I don't know, or maybe just an injection. Uh, and you talked, and you talked about it from kind of August to December about when we get some attacking players into this football club, we'll be a good team, we'll be absolutely fine. You must be great, delighted that you've got your business done, or most of the business, or, or all of your business done by you know the middle of January. You don't have to stress on the final day. Yeah, because obviously August was was tough. It was hard for us, and you know obviously we had such a long season with it with the playoff final and. Then, coming back in early and um, it was difficult because we had obviously a lot of loans and a lot of the loans that were in our, our side last year were, were, uh, were outstanding and, and um, the levels of performance that they were able to put in week in, week out. It's hard to do that again. It's very difficult. People don't realise. Um, well, you can do it, but you can't do it on the budget that you know that the likes of Lincoln have, have got. So we had to work a little bit hard and it was difficult, but yeah, I'm delighted that we've got the players that we've got in. I'm just as delighted to see behind the scenes some of our more senior players and more defence-minded players um, look like they're, they're not too far away and all of a sudden, you know, things are starting to sort of move in the right direction. 
I know some managers like to watch the game back straight away on the coach. I think you can probably watch it four times before you get back to Lincoln. You're probably you're not wrong. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, well, well, to be fair to Jake, he's got a, an excellent sort of way of uh, getting the best bits of the game. So we, it'll be a shortened version. So he'll probably watch it about eight times, actually. But um, no, a good day, really good day for everyone. Really good day for the clubs, the fans that have come down. We know from obviously this, what we had to do yesterday. It's a, it's a long, long way and I'm really appreciative. And it's just great sometimes that we get the opportunity to celebrate with the lads like they did, not just because of the goal and it coming at that end, but because it was right at the end of the game as well. well